In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a fringe benefits cost pool in the ICAT rate model editor. On the fringe benefits tab, confirm that the fringe benefits pool type is selected for the fringe benefits cost pool. Cost pool setup screens have a section for the pool components and a section for the base components. By default, the pool components section will include all of the accounts within the fringe benefits grouping in the QuickBooks general ledger, so that the entire balance will flow in automatically as part of the fringe benefits cost pool. Because the fringe benefits pool is the first cost pool in the waterfall flow of indirect cost allocations, there are no intermediate allocations from other cost pools flowing into the fringe benefits pool. There are no allocations here in the allocation section that would flow into the cost pool. To populate the allocation base elements, you will find the accounts from the chart of accounts that comprise the allocation base for this cost pool. You then drag and drop the accounts into the base components section. For fringe benefits, the allocation base is comprised of all labor costs. The labor accounts in our example includes direct labor, overhead labor, GNA labor, as well as bid and proposal labor, which is a subgroup to GNA. Maybe you have other labor types, such as research and development labor. All of those labor accounts would be added to the allocation base components for the fringe benefits cost pool. If you add an account that does not belong in the pool or base components, you can right-click the account name to remove it. Once these pool and base components are finalized, ICAT will calculate your indirect rate using the fringe benefit amounts in the allocation pool and the various labor account balances in the allocation base. There are two additional setup options to point out. Indirect cost pool tabs have a field where you can enter the current provisional billing rate. By populating the provisional rate field, you can run reports that show the indirect cost allocations at both the actual indirect rate, as calculated based on the balances in QuickBooks, and at the provisional indirect rate, as used for billing purposes. This enables you to compare actual indirect costs incurred against indirect cost billed using the provisional indirect rate. You will also see a checkbox for calculate a cost of money rate for this indirect cost pool. This field is available if needed for computing cost of money rates for the incurred cost proposal. 